Hi guys, it's Laura from How To Get Your Shit Together and in this video we are talking about the three types of goals that you need to have if you want your life to have a sense of purpose and achievement while also to stay motivated and challenged. Because how many times have you worked your arse off to get something only to be disappointed when you did? Or how many goals have you set and then given up on? Yeah, thumbs up if you know that feeling. The reason is that there is a big difference between having goals and having the right goals. So let's talk about the right goals and I will share some of my personal goals with you. Let's go. I have talked a lot about achieving goals and I will link to one of those videos in the description box below but now it's time to take a step back and look at actually setting goals because there is no point in having a good aim if you are shooting for the wrong stars. Now like most things goals come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes. Some are so small as to be pretty insignificant no matter how many times I take have a shower off my to-do list it's never going to make me feel like I have my shit together. And some are so big that they feel completely unachievable. Although admittedly, become ruler of the universe still seems like something worth fighting for. That is why when setting goals, you should have three types. Short term, medium term, and long term goals. Short term goals give you quick wins. Now the time frame can be kind of a subjective thing but for me personally I define them as anything that can be achieved within one month. So it's something that potentially you could achieve today or it might take a few weeks to finish. But short-term goals keep the momentum and the motivation going so that you feel like you're actually achieving something. Because if you are not achieving something that is of value to you at least once a month then you are either a wasting your life or b your goals are just too big and you will run out of steam trying to chase them down it's like playing a game you know short-term goals are your checkpoints without them you'd be all when will this end if i die all will be lost and i will have nothing to show for myself really want to play sonic right now video first. So go ahead and reap as many benefits as you can, as often as you can. Keep that feel good factor going. That is what will see you through the bad times because when your cup already runneth over, you won't worry about a few splashes and spills here and there. Having said that, only setting goals in the short term is not going to give you a sense of direction. Hi, it's Laura Hutchinson. I just missed your call there. <sighs> Booked in for surgery. Even though the journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step, you still need to have a map to make sure that that step is in the right direction. That is where your medium term goals come into play. They're like the Goldilocks of goals, you know, not too short, not too long. They are far enough into the future that it feels like a bit of a challenge, feels like something that's worth striving for, but not so far that you lose focus. For me, these can take anywhere between two months to a year. The more motivation required, the shorter your time frame should be. For example, getting to peak fitness is something that requires a lot of motivation and dedication over a prolonged period. So it's best to set yourself a goal that isn't too far into the future. So something like being able to lift a certain weight and being able to run at certain distance, etc. On the other hand, something like completing your current college course could be closer to the year mark because it is easier to get up and go to class every day than it is to get to the gym. Or at least it is if you are me. So look at the level of motivation required to see how long something should take. Motivation is one of those fickle beasts. It will require a lot of positive reinforcement to keep it coming back. So consistently hitting those short-term goals is going to keep you going towards your medium-term goals. I guess medium-term goals are like completing a level. And then there are long-term goals, the ones that take more than a year to achieve but lead you to the life that you want. These can be the hardest ones to stick to because they are so far removed from our present selves and the deadline is too far away to feel pressing. So what is the point in setting them, you may ask? Quite simply, it is to give your life direction. 
If you do not know where you want to end up, you won't know what decisions to make in the here and now to get you there. If short-term goals are checkpoints and medium-term goals are levels, then long-term goals are the whole game. They're the whole reason that you are playing. Sonic can go and collect all of the rings he likes, but if he is not beating Dr. Robotnik and setting all the woodland creatures free, there's no point to it. Why did I start this game analogy? Your long-term vision for your life will dictate pretty much everything you do in the day-to-day. -day. It is what will keep you on track and steer you in the right direction. Otherwise, tide is just going to take you where it pleases and eventually you will find yourself stranded on some desert island with no idea how you got there. Maybe I should play Dizzy. Long-term goals are like the North Star. They lead you home. So let me give you some practical examples from my life. I want to lead a quiet, calm, minimalist life. So some of my short-term goals include things like bringing things to the charity shop, meditating, unsubscribing from emails I'm no longer interested in, being a bit more mindful about my purchases, etc. Medium-term goals are things like completing the KonMari method and going through all of my papers and either scanning them or taking action on them and then removing them from the house. All of those things and more are what are leading me to the downsized, kind of simplified, content life that I want in the long term. So those are just some of the examples of the short, medium and long term goals that I am setting for myself so that I have a sense of purpose and direction with my life and that I feel like I am regularly achieving something. So yeah, there are goals and there are goals. And like everything else in life, a good balance is what is required. So take some time today and look at the way that you are setting your goals. Do you have all three types or are you lacking in some area? So sit down, have a look and then fill in the gaps. You want some short term goals to keep you moving, some medium term goals to challenge you and to help you grow and then some long term goals to give your life a sense of purpose and direction. Set your checkpoints keep leveling up and pretty soon you will win at the game of life. Could I be any more cheesy? And that is a wrap. Thumbs up if you are ready to set some new goals for yourself. Comment below and let me know what is one goal you are going to set for yourself and whether it is a short, medium or long term goal. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because I upload new videos every single Thursday to inspire and motivate you to lead a simpler, happier life. Until next time, Sonic time. Kermila Mahagoyev. Agus Pekimei Shibshikalua. Slán.